Hi guys! In this video, I will show you some back to school hairstyles that are great for daily life. These hairstyles are quick to do and they are also easy so they are great for busy days when you don't have much time for hair. These hairstyles are best for the long hair and medium long hair. I beginning with the French ponytail hairstyle. First, I create the circular part line like this. And next step is create the zigzag on top of this part line to make the part line look natural. In this way, the part line won't show up at the result. Then I start the braid. First, I leave some accent hair out. If you want all hair up, you can also skip this step. Next, I will take three strands of hair from the front and then I will braid French braid bringing strands from each side over to the middle. After a few stitches, I start to add hair and I add hair from the both sides of the braid. Next, I will bring all my hair together and then I tie my hair to the ponytail. Then I pancake the French braid just a little bit and release the braid. Then I take a small piece of hair and spin it around the bubble. Then I will pull the hair through the ponytail. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Next I create the Celtic knot. For that I need two pieces of hair. And before starting, I press them well, so they are easy to handle. First, I will create the loop with the left-sided strand. Like this, you can see ribbon version on down. After that, I bring the right-side strand under the loop. And I will grab the hair with my fingers through the loop. And again the ribbon version, like this. Then I will bring the right side strand over and under the left sided strands. Again the same with the ribbons, over and under. Then I will take the same strand through the hairpiece I grabbed through the loop. So like this. And same with the ribbons. And here you can see the final result and the ribbon version without suspending.
Next hairstyle, I begin with some hair from both sides. I bring them back together and after that I take small elastic and tie them together. Next, I flip the hair and pancake the edges just a little bit. Next, I split my hair in two and start from the another side. I take about half of the hair from that side, separate the hair piece in three and start the braid, just a regular three strand braid. I also add slowly the rest of the hair inside this braid. You can also take all hair in in the beginning if you like, but then the braid will start a little bit lower, but that's definitely more easier way if you need some. Once I've added all the hair in, I keep on braiding until the end of the hair. If you like to get some extra volume for this hairstyle, you can also pancake the edges of the braid to make it look a little bit bigger. Then I will repeat exactly the same to the another side. Again, I take three strands and then I start the braid and add the half of the hair also in. The next step is tie these braids together look like they would be one braid. I use for that puppy pins and at the end I tie them together with the same elastic. And here you can see the final result of this hairstyle. Next hairstyle is cute and simple dots braid half up. You need three strands and then just start the braid bringing strands from side under to the middle and add hair from the both sides of the braid. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Right under, add hair left under, add hair. After a few stitches, I stop adding hair from the left side of the braid and that's why, because I want this to be half up, so at this point, rest of the hair can be open. But I still continue braiding and add hair from the right side just a few times and then I stop adding hair also from that side and just braid until the end of the hair. You can get more volume for this hairstyle too if you pancake the edges of the braid. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Next, I will create cute pigtails that you need only one and later two strands of hair. So just one strand first. Take small piece and start to adding hair like this. Take more hair, twist backwards, 
then take more hair and twist again then just continue doing this if you like to leave accent hair you can do it or braid all in if you want a looser look you don't need to change much only twist a little bit less if you want super tight twist more then all you need to do is continue like this until you added all the hair from this side inside the braid then I tie the braid with elastic repeat the same to the another side again strand of hair then start to adding more hair into that strand and twist after every adding Next, I will create the rope twist braids at the end of the pigtail. So two strands, twist left, spin right, twist left, spin right, twist left, spin right. And keep on repeating this until the end of the hair. Again, you can get more looser look if you pancake the itches. And once you're finished first, Keep on repeating to the another side. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. The last look of this video is the headband hairstyle first you need slice from the front to the headband and i suggest you to tie all the rest of the hair to the back i use some water before starting and then i take three very small strands of hair above my ear like this and then I start to braid like a Dutch braid, bringing strands from side under to the middle. In this braid, I also add hair from the front, which means on this braid, the right side strand, so left under without no addings, and right under, and this time I add hair. Then again, the left under right under add hair and keep on repeating this until you reach the top Once you added all the hair from the right side inside the braid, keep on braiding without addings. You need to continue this braid until it reaches the back of your head. I will tie these braids together on back at the end. Next, I will create the similar braid to the another side. This time, I just add hair from the left side of the braid. But also this time, 
it's the front side, so always bring the hair from the front backwards. Right under, no addings, left under, add hair. Right under, no addings, left under, add hair. Right under, left under, add hair. Keep on repeating this again until you added all the hair, this time from the left side inside the braid. After that, you need to keep on braiding until the braid will reach on the back of your head. Next, I cross these braids and bring them together on back. I take the elastic and tie them together. Then I release the rest of my hair and the hairstyle is ready. And here's the last hairstyle and how it looks. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked, please hit the thumbs up for this video and subscribe my channel. Have a great day and happy parading!